This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. Honey Badger has your back when it counts. They're the only air tracker that combines air monitoring, uptime monitoring, and cron monitoring into a single and simple to use platform. Their mission is to tame production and make you a better, more productive developer. In episode 322, we looked at speeding up requests, and one of the main mechanisms that we used was PG Search to do full text search on our database. And during the discovery of the different ways we could query our database, we ended up coming up with different kinds of queries, and some of them were quite large. And it also has a few issues around here because the search mechanism that we introduced was doing a search on all of the fields instead of specific ones. So in this episode, we're going to create a search under each column. So when we do a search on a publisher, it's only going to return those results. We could also do a search on title and also the author or genre. And when we start getting into more complicated situations where we have a book record and a book has an author, it has a publisher, and it has a genre, the queries can start getting a little bit complex. So in this episode, we're going to look at adding in the scenic gem, which can be used to create SQL views or materialize views, which essentially is combining multiple tables or calculations into a single table. And then within our Ruby on Rails application, we're going to be able to take that SQL view and interact with it just like we would any other active record model. And essentially, we're going to do something like this, where we have our books table with the title, author ID, publisher ID, and genre ID. And we're going to create a materialized view, which will look something like this, where we have the title and then the author name, publisher name, and genre name. And by doing this, we're not going to be speeding up the queries, but we are going to be making it easier to work with. And this can be extremely helpful in situations where we have very complex reports that we need to generate. And there's a lot of logic that goes into them. So instead of having it all within our code, we can create these views within our database to contain that logic, and then we can just query this view just like we would an active record model. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.